Microsoft is rebranding its chatbot as the race around AI heats up. The company revamping its chat feature with a new payment structure designed to entice more companies to use the AI-powered software. The enhanced chat will offer AI agent functionality for customers powered by GPT-4.0 and include a pay-as-you-go fee so organizations can pay based on usage. Joining me now on the announcement is Jared Spataro, Microsoft's Chief Marketing Officer for AI at Work. Jared, thank you so much for joining us. Can you just kind of run us quickly through the announcement that Microsoft's making today? You bet. Great to be here with you, Dan. As you indicated, we're announcing a new product. It's called Copilot Chat, and it really contains three things. Number one is free, secure AI chat. And it's really important to recognize that this first component is free, it's secure, it's handled the same way that we handle emails for our customers. Second is agents, as you indicated. And the big news here is not only an agent framework, but a way to just pay for what you use. It's accessible to any user on a, what we call a metered basis. And then finally, IT controls for security, privacy, compliance, the types of things that are very important as people are rolling out these at scale, these types of solutions. So really exciting. We're excited to see what customer reaction will be. So Microsoft already charges $30 per user per license for uh, the enterprise version of Copilot. What's the, the pricing structure on this? What, what would you pay per usage? Sure, so if you're just using the free secure GPT-4 powered chat, it's free and that's what's attractive. The starting point is literally free. But then on top of that, you get to add agents and you can think of agents as AI tools that help automate business processes. Those agents are charged on a pay as you go basis. And we, we charge based on the messages that come back from the agent. And the base rate for that is a cent per message. We start for a message that comes back at a cent, a message that comes back that's generated by AI is two cents. So if you looked at, for instance, kind of an average internal employee facing agent, and it was answering hundreds of questions a day for many people, it might be on the order of $50, $60 a day. So we think that there's incredible value here as people look at business processes that they'd like to improve. So is, is the idea here kind of to give people kind of a, a means to ramp up use of AI or kind of dabble in, in AI without having to sign up for you know, the, the $30 per user uh, per license kind of setup? Exactly right. It's an on-ramp. You know, we have customers out there that we've been talking about now for many months. Dow is one, McKinsey is another, and in, in Europe we have Pets at Home, who have been able to use Copilot plus these agents to literally save millions of dollars. Just a single agent for them can save millions of dollars. But up to this point, that's only really been accessible on that $30 per user per month type of basis. And what we heard from our customers was, boy, when we get there, the value proves itself out, but how do we scale? So this offering is meant to be an on-ramp. It's meant to be an easy way for you to start to use the basics of chat, again, for free, and then on top of that, agents in this consumption basis. And what we really love about it, what customers tell me as I previewed it with them over the last couple of months is they really feel like it proves the value itself. It kind of builds the business case as people choose to use it to get their work done. So what has the uptake been like for, for Copilot for, for Enterprise so far for, for Microsoft? Oh, we've been very pleased with it. In fact, we see increasing momentum. We're at a point where we're not right now announcing any new figures related to today's announcement, but earnings is coming up for us and we'll be talking about Copilot there. But in our customer events last uh, fall, during that season, we were able to highlight a whole bunch of customers all across the world that are being able to, to really realize great measurable business value. It starts first, Dan, typically with cost savings. That's what's easiest to measure. But we also see people who are automating things like things that their sales force is doing to drive increased revenue per head for sellers. So it's starting to get its uh, kind of a broad set of effects across the enterprise, across all functions right now. I guess what, one of the questions then is, you know, as these, these AI features continue to roll out, how does Microsoft or, or the general industry get enterprise customers to make this a part of their everyday lives. You know, it's obviously a big uh, kind of change for, for workers who are used to doing a certain you know, type of, of work on the daily. How does this become then a part of their daily, daily lives? Yeah, that's, you know, that's the big question. It's the, the big reason behind today's announcement. What we see is the future is already here, but as so many people say, it's just unevenly distributed. So you can think of it this way. Companies all across the world are starting to see what I might call departmental results. They have people who have figured out, and here's how I can use AI to really drive those very measurable results. But enterprise level results, that typically is going to require broad adoption. It's going to require people to alter their habits. Now, one of the things that we have seen in our telemetry is that when you give people 
a tool like we're introducing today, AI-based chat, they start to not only use it, but they find new uses for it. They start to modify what we would call their workflow, their daily workflow. But it's a matter of broad exposure. And so again, this gives us an on-ramp, an easy way to let people be exposed to the technology and then to allow them to find places where it can be used. So for us, we think it's the best of both worlds based on what we've learned with our customers so far.